everybody. Dave Cicchini here with two special guests. Uh, on my left, we've got Danny Muser uh, from Dallas, PA. Uh, and to my right, we've got Aiden Davenport from New Jersey. Aiden is a long snapper, and, and Danny is a running back who uh, also plays a lot on our special teams units uh, as well. Uh, recap from uh, this past Saturday's game uh, up in Worcester, Massachusetts against Holy Cross. Uh, it was a tough contest. It's, it certainly was a challenge. We played at Polar Park, which was a, a unique experience, a minor league uh, baseball field that was there. Uh, but very little went right uh, for the Bison uh, on Saturday, and that was unfortunate. We were going up against a very, very veteran squad. Uh, we feel like our team is getting better each week, and we feel like we are improving, and we are much more experienced than we were a year ago. Unfortunately, going up a team like uh, Holy Cross, which is ranked 10th in the country at the time that they played us. Uh, they've got 15 fifth-year seniors, uh, and they've got 23 uh, fourth-year seniors. So uh, 38 players. Conversely, uh, our program right now has zero fifth-year players and 11 seniors. So uh, as much as we feel like we're getting better, you run into a buzzsaw like that where you're playing against a lot of 23- and 24-year-olds, and, and we certainly got uh, knocked around quite a bit during the game. But it, it was a pretty uh, unique uh, evening to be there, Polar Park. Uh, Danny, what were your thoughts just in terms of going out? Have you ever played in a baseball stadium like that, a um, football game? No, Coach. I've never played inside a football sta or a baseball stadium like that. I, uh, I've never even been to Massachusetts before, so it was a, it was a good experience to, to be up there and be with the team. And it was a long bus ride, but it was a good bonding experience. And the whole the whole game was, was a good learning experience, and I think the team's going to react right. Obviously, you were a big bright spot for us. Uh, had a couple of big runs, uh, close to 100 yards rushing uh, on the day. Uh, how do you feel like your performance was and, and uh, uh, the type of impact that you were yeah. able to have? I mean, uh, at the beginning of the game, uh, the two backs that I was supposed to be rotating in with um, went down, and it was kind of up to me to kind of go through the offense and try to just do as best I could, try to do the best of my abilities, and my coaches trusted me, and we have been practicing and giving me all the plays that were necessary, and it was nice. And that that one long run, uh, that was the most green grass I've seen in front of me with the football in my hands since my sophomore year of high school. So it felt really good. Yeah, yeah. Well, you certainly played a great game. Now, uh, being at that running back position, you know, you've heard me talk a lot about it. So, you know, you're. Uh, at a position that's really the deepest, probably on the entire football team, uh, certainly not, not just the offense. So, so what's it like uh, going to work every day with a bunch of really talented uh, teammates? It's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, my the running back group is again what you said, a really talented group. Uh, my our coach uh, Jordan Johnson, he's a great coach. Uh, he played at University of Buffalo, and he really tries to mimic what he expected for himself in college and leading up to try to get into the NFL. He expects that same discipline and um, football IQ with us as well because he expects the most out of all of us. And so it's a great group of kids, and I have fun every day with them. That's great. That's great. No, it's a, a lot of fun. Uh, uh, Aiden, turn it to you. Uh, long snapping, all right? Uh, certainly not something that, you know, probably some of our fans are even aware is, is an actual thing. You know, the sport's become uh, so specialized that you, you actually go out and you recruit people just to come on in and, and long snap for punts and, and short snap for, for PATs and, and field goals. Uh, tell us all how you got involved in becoming a long snapper. Yeah, so I started long snapping in eighth grade. Um, got taught to it by just a couple of dads that were helping coach out and did it all the way throughout high school. And then um, luckily, uh, just my high school coach was also a long snapper in college. And he said, hey, go out, try and get recruited for this. Went to a couple camps and got ranked really high in the nation. So just started applying to a bunch of schools and luckily Bucknell got back to me. So it's been great ever since. You can play D1 football and also just get a great education. Yeah. Absolutely. You played a lot of football for us over the years. You keep getting better with every passing season. Uh, tell the people at home just how the practice is just a little bit different when you're a specialist. You're not on offense. You're not on defense. You're with the kickers and the punters. Uh, how does your daily routine go in, in, in a typical day of practice? Yeah, I mean, it's very different because it's just one thing you have to do. So it's not about um, just like knowing plays and all that. It's about repetition and also just making sure that you are not only just like have the best chemistry with 
the people that you're working with, but also just like accuracy in terms of just like getting this feedback and making sure that us as specialists can get the job done. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the things that you do get to do, it again, being the long snapper on punts, uh, it's a rule where you basically can't have a player over you. Right. Uh, and that gives you a lot of free access to not just, your job's not just to snap, but you're right. typically the first guy down the field uh, uh, covering. Tell us what's that, that is like the experience of barreling down uh, on that returner, particularly, particularly uh, with a guy like Ruben Anderson who gets a lot of hang time on his right. punts. Um, it's, it's different. Last year it was all about blocking. Mm -hmm. So that was um, basically my main focus going into August and into August camp. But then with uh, Coach Schaefer now as a special teams coach, uh, letting me fly down the field to basically be the first one there for a tackle is like, it's free. Like Danny was saying, it's just all this green grass right in front of you, just getting the run down and me and the returner being the first person there, it's just it's, uh, gonna, I don't know, just be, how do I explain it? Just the ability just to get to hit someone. Mm -hmm. Just missed it, and I'm looking forward to the next two years of doing it. Obviously, that gets us back to you, Dan. I mean, you have had a big impact uh, on special teams units as well. Uh, what do you like about uh, the various special teams that you're on? Um, I just love, like, the ability to just, like, go out on the field and just, like, prove to everyone, like, what we've been working on, like, show the other teams, like, how much vice, the Bison football team really puts into special teams, all the hard work that we do. And, uh, I mean, it's fun because, like, whenever every special teams rep, w whether it's practice or the game, I really try to go 100% because I know that that film's going to come on the next day and everyone's going to get broken down right in front of the whole team. And, and so you got to make sure that you were, you were doing the right thing and giving effort that day because you will get called out in special teams meetings. So it's, it's good. It's a good, good little competition. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it, it's such a, a underrated part of the game, special teams, and, and we do take it very seriously here. And, and our players do an outstanding job of buying into that and, and giving all they can uh, to help our special teams be uh, as, as good as they possibly can be. Uh, this coming week, uh, we get another unique uh, experience so to travel to Yale uh, to take uh, on a, a good Yale football team, uh, three and one Yale football team this year uh, that uh, is off to a good start. Uh, and uh, obviously they play their home games in the Yale Bowl, which is a unique experience in itself. So uh, we are definitely looking forward to that, all the history that comes uh, in, in to be in that stadium. Uh, and against a very talented Yale football team. We do have a couple of players we're anticipating getting back off of injury. Uh, it was a hard-fought physical contest against Holy Cross this past Saturday, but I do believe that by the time the Yale game gets around, we'll be in a little bit better shape going into the Yale game than we were uh, with some of the injuries that we had going into Holy Cross. So it should be a great experience. We hope to see many of you there, and go Bison!